Welcome back to Let's Play Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm doing a bit of an experiment right here. I just want to see if the camera can see me when I peek. Agency trespasser on surveillance. Oh boy. That's gonna make things complicated. I saw you on the monitor, Sam. Let's try that again. And then it waits a moment for no reason, and then auto auto loads. Fine. If you insist. X to get it out. Shoot the lights. I missed. How embarrassing. Get fucked. To equip your night vision goggles, <laughs> simply press left on the D-pad. To return to normal vision, press left again. Let me just uh, reload that. I had to set that to uh, right to clicking in the right stick. Yes, one of uh, the other signature elements of this uh, series, as I understand it, is the noise it makes when you do this. Ooh, I like that. I also like the detail that it makes everything black and white and ever so slightly staticky, like you're actually looking through the goggles, even though we can clearly see Sam, which is weird. Stupid camera. Can't see anything just because it's pitch black in here. Some cameras are more fragile. And all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. You know, I kind of assumed that if I shot the last one, I would fail the test. Some cameras are not protected with armored casings. Shooting these cameras will destroy them, allowing you to pass. And that won't set off alarms? To make yourself harder to see, you can go back to the wall. Press the equip key to equip your sidearm when peeking, and you can shoot around the corner without exposing yourself. That's not true. I wasn't even aiming and the camera saw me. But I'll give it a shot, since it basically told me to do that. Ready! I can, I can ready it from peeking. Okay, and if I let go, then he just puts it back, and he uh, leans back to the wall. Sure! Fucking... Nice. I don't know why I'm surprised that it didn't... Uh... Oh, my gun is, gu is just gone. I can't reload. It's because it's not here anymore. They have disintegrated my gun, because I don't need it anymore for the tests, I would imagine. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your moves. Yeah, it's a heavy one again. So the ones that are smooth on the sides are armored. That's good to know. Time your movements and keep to the shadows to avoid being seen by the camera. They haven't told me about crouching yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, no, I guess they did tell me that, didn't they? But I was on the, uh... The thing at the time. Oh, shit! If I can move faster like this. Right, keep sweeping past me. Go. I can. I'll wait right here. Just in case it will be able to see me in that little crack there. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. To knock out an enemy with a hand-to-hand -hand attack, get close to them and press fire, left mouse button, or in this case, right trigger. Stand over the fallen enemy and select the pick-up body interaction. Carry the opponent to somewhere dark and out of the way and press the interaction key again to drop them. Okay. Oh no, wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, I guess I can still knock him out. Fair enough. 
It just said interact body, not, you know, high pick up body. Oh, I like that. A proper fireman carry. We've got him draped over his shoulders. What? No. There's nowhere dark in. Oh, over there. I can't move any faster than this while carrying a body, which makes okay, sense. Okay, now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. I'll just crouch for the sake of it, because it probably makes it be harder to see. Remain undetected until the guard completes his patrol. Discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. All that fast that I was clicking in earlier finally ca ca kicked in. Can I? No, I cannot drink from the water fountain. Alas! Sam will just have to remain thirsty. Oh. Fucking VHS tapes. I could totally believe the government was still using those in, uh, O2. Wait a minute, that's a flat screen monitor. God damn, that'd be really expensive back then. What's it doing in a government site? I thought they just used old crap. You think that at this point they'd still be on Windows 95? I'm supposed to could talk to this guy. Can I knock this guy out? <laughs> <laughs> or no, there was another. Where am I meant to go? Ah, yes. The door the other original guy was guarding. Soundproof room. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. To move quietly, try to keep a softer or more solid textures, like carpet or concrete. And avoid hollow or loose surfaces, like wood or gravel. Also remember that the slower you move, the quieter you are. To crouch, press B. You will be much quieter while crouched and moving slowly. You will also perform a quiet landing if you drop from a height while crouched. Oh, is that what that's about? I noted in the testing that if I jump and then press B, he like throws his arm out, arms out like he's doing jazz hands. Oh yeah, he does land with his knees there. Man, my heartbeat is loud as fuck. Oh, I see. He like keeps his legs tense so he can control the movement of landing more. I think. Oh, there's chains hanging from the ceiling. That's good. I like that. Uh, just carefully move around them. Oh, fucking hell, there's broken glass over here. Can't go any slower than this. I was just holding my breath there. Jesus, as if it was actually, you know, me. Have you started yet? Fisher, holy Christmas, you're at the end. <laughs> Phenomenal work. Let's move on. Yes, Lambert seems like a good, uh, CO. Although it does kind of feel weird to see a colonel in just a suit. That's a nice suit, too. Vest and another three pieces, no, the other two pieces and everything. Cyro plaque. This wall isn't even finished. Like in universe, I mean. That's got to be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. 
will be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. Mission complete. CIA training farm camp Perry Perry I don't know how you're meant to pronounce that uh, Virginia August 7th 2004 0729 hours congratulations Fisher you have demonstrated that you are the right man to spearhead the NSA's third echelon initiative the onus will be on you to prove the worth of deploying solo covert operatives by gathering intelligence in the field and taking deliberate action based on that intelligence welcome to the NSA Sorry about that. I wanted to grab a lozenge. The, uh, the rapper says, don't wait to get started, so I'll just push the button. Turkish airspace. October 16th, 2004, 1949 hours. This is going to sting. Go ahead. Hold that. Christ, this is spooky. What's that? Grim sticking wires in your head, man. Grim? I just need to sync the encryption signature between his subdermals and Fort Meade. Don't like that. I know. It's for after we land. You better hurry up, Grim. We touch down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Combe Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. Hmm. You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. Thank you, Vernon. Tbilisi. Tbilisi? I don't know how you say that. Tbilisi, Old Town, Tbilisi, Georgia. October 16th, 2004, 2001 hours. Locate CIA agents Blaustein and Madison. Agent Allison Madison worked covertly in the Georgian political arena for two years, securing a role in President Nikoladze's uh, Nikolad's, uh, cabinet after his coup d'etat. He, uh, she vanished on October 3rd. On October 7th, Special Agent Robert Blaustein was sent in to find her. He vanished on October 11th. Oh. Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. You're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Hmm. Details on your offset. I don't love that. You know, I actually tried this game back in the day, but uh, I didn't get anywhere. It's one of the things that convinced me for so many years that I just couldn't do stealth games, but... You know, I did Dishonored, and I did the Thief reboot, and uh, I did uh, Escape from Butcher Bay. And I can't help but uh, feel maybe I just didn't have the patience 20 years ago, you know? Like, I remember, like, I didn't even remember that cutscene we just watched. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Hey, it worked! I didn't actually think I'd be able to climb up to this ladder. I should probably check my intel. 
Rendezvous with local NSA informant Thomas Gergenzi for, uh, apologies to anyone Georgian in the audience. I'm trying my best. Uh, for information on Blaustein's area of operation. Killing civilians will result in mission failure. Touching the street will result in mission failure. So is Grimm's daughter. Okay, case file uploaded 161004. Name Thomas G. Gergenzi, aka Nun. William A. Blaustein. Oh, wait, I double click. I double click. Jeez. That time I decided to let the cat out of the room. <laughs> Okay, starting from the top, uh, yeah, case file October 16th. Oh, that's what was throwing me off! I'm supposedly working for an American agency, but they wrote the, uh, the date Canadian. Oh, that's right! This is Ubisoft. Yes, yes, of course. I think they were, uh, founded in Montreal. Unless I'm totally out to launch and they're from somewhere else. <laughs> Originally. Um, yes, yes, sorry. Uh... Thomas G. Gergenzi, a.k.a. Nun. Uh, date of birth... 8... I, I'm, I guess I'll stick the, uh, the date first again. Uh, November 8th, 1960. Citizenship Georgian... Jeez, A.O. Tbilisi, Georgia. Area of operations, maybe? Association's CIA informant. Occupation 4th Tbilisi, Precinct Police Booking Clerk. Relevant history. 05 12 96, recruited by Special Agent Tannehill. 23 02 97, secures clerical employment with Tbilisi Police Force. Uh, 14 03 97, first contact with Sergeant, Jesus Christ, Lortke Panidzi. Panids. Uh, 02 11 97, promotion. 0 23 uh, 04 98, promotion, gains access to Lork, Lord Panidzi's. Panidzi's, uh, PC through server. 240498, Agent Tannehill request granted increased funding for, for Gergenzi's salary. 250498, weekly transmission of Sergeant Lortkip Panidzi's files. I'm so sorry. 081004, negative report on CIA agent Alice Madison notes none. Uh, William R. Blaustein. American, Georgia, CIA, Special Agent. 071004, arrives in Tbilisi to begin investigation of Agent Madison's disappearance. 081004, first contact with Thomas Gergenzi. Gergenzi? I don't know. 101004, reports harassment from local police and near incarceration. Reference Sergeant Lortkip Pan Panidzi. 101004, Again, report of possible security beach at Blaustein's base of operations. 11.10.04, missed daily report to Langley. 11.10.04, CIA implanted tracking subdermal motion is reduced to less than 10 meters per day. 12.10.04, and 13, 10, missed daily report to Langley. 14.10.04, CIA implanted tracking subdermal microchips go offline. Notes, a real cowboy. A good example of the old guard at Langley, author Grimm's daughter. Alice McCarthy Madison. American Tbilisi, Georgia CIA Special Agent. 240502. Was transferred to Georgia. 070702. Secures administrative position in Georgian Sec Secretary of Defense Chokheli's office. 030504. Donation to Nikolad's campaign. Secures. Employment in Tbilisi State House. 280904, reports of suspicious data traffic between Nikolod's deputies. I've heard them say that name enough times. Uh, 290904, paperwork submitted for the transfer of Nikolod's encrypted files to NSA analysts. Request as yet unprocessed. 031004, missed daily report to Langley. 041004, missed daily report to Langley. Oh, look at that. 041004, CIA implanted tracking subdermal motion is reduced to less than 20 meters per day. 051004, subdermal microchips go offline. 071004, re status request made of contact Thomas Gergenzi. Reference S.A. Tannehill. 081004, negative report from Gergenzi. 
Notes, she's sharp but timid. She's worked herself deep into Nicolod's government in a short time, quickly enough to make me wonder at her methods. Author Grimm's daughter. I'm pretty sure daughter written that way is like the equivalent of like the Viking thing where you put son after your name to say that this man is your father. I think daughter is to indicate this person is your mo uh, you're the daughter of this person. Like, Grimm's daughter would be, you know, uh, so-and-so, daughter of Grimm. <laughs> and the last one is... Oh, it's a map. Insertion. Oh, good! I'm heading to the... Uh, that is actually kind of helpful. Not as helpful as an auto map, but whatever. The Hotel Bigaribi. Really? Pushkin Street. A.K.A. Tendadeba Incorporated. Sh Shroshi Street. Apartments, Orpiosis. Really? Moravi Square. Gamis Zvelka Music. Basiletti Lane. Kuta... Kuta Taladzi Street. Kuta Talads, I guess. Kobuleti Street Lane. Oh my god. Shatbera Shvili Street. Shatbera Shvili Alley. Chav Chav Oh god damn it. Chav Chav Zay Oh my god, I am so sorry about this. Chav Chav Adze Avenue. Yeah, I just said that. Fourth to Bill C Precinct, and I can't scroll or anything, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of here before I embarrass myself even more. Uh save getting real. Oh I can't put a space in. It's probably literally a file name. Somebody over there? Oh no. A civilian saw me. What, it's only a problem now I'm on the roof? Is somebody there? Fuck, I forgot about that. I can't even check that. Alright, alright, I'm being stupid. I've just played a lot of games where there are hidden collectibles, you know? Oops. That's just embarrassing. Up we go. Ooh. Chris no, of course it's not Christmas lights. It told us the, it's like October, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, this looks important. Oh, I think I remember this from the trailers. showed off more of his face in the trailers. Well, maybe they faked it. Oh, there's the timer. Let's just take a peek over here. No, don't climb. Oh, jeez. I'll have to make note of that. If I climb all the way to the top, he automatically pulls himself up. Which could be bad. Oh, shit! There. Why would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grimm's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. The warehouse is now on fire, and I have to go inside. That's great. Don't tell me Gurgenzi's in there. Is uh, what was said over the explosion. I was sort of car peeling off. Well. Turn this way. Huh. Real breeding kind of guy here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell when we uh, get back into it and uh, throw ourselves literally into a burning building. I'm looking forward to it for one. Oh, God. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I may just need it. Later.